hundreds of thousands of bees. That's what Philip Rains and other beekeepers around the country deal with on a daily basis. For me, that's my nightmare. I went to my wife, I said, I can't find any local honey. How about if we just get two hives? Just two, I promise only two. Yeah, now look what now you did. Now we've got hundreds and She's hundreds. like, look what you did. I got hundreds and hundreds of hives and got semi trucks. Wow. You know? Now it's a business, as Rain's Honey Farm supplies honey all over the Chicago area to restaurants and farms. I'm terrified of bees, but wanted to face my fears to try my hand at beekeeping. First, I suit it up. I feel like an Oompa Loompa. Do I look like an Oompa Loompa? With my bee veil to block out the little buggers. Then we got to work. First, we smoked out the bees to distract their focus. So what happens is when there's a fire in the woods and they smell the smoke, all the bees will start eating honey so that when I go in there to do a manipulation or to work with them, they ignore me and they're focused on that there might be a fire in the woods, that they gotta get all the honey that they can they have to hurry. in case they have to leave the hive. Getting the focus away from me sounded like a good plan. I bet your house smells good. There's probably 700,000 bees in this yard right now we're gonna go into. And you're telling me 700,000 bees are not gonna hurt me? You're gonna be just fine. Okay. Trust the beekeeper. I now, what about the two of us standing over here with no gear on? And you're basically screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, what's the plan? I can't even run. <laughs> what did you do? I am screwed. Phil made Aaron feel a little better with a hat. The next step was to load the boxes on top of the hives. So right now what we're doing is, is we're going to put one super on each, bot, on each hive, and then the bees will slowly fill them up with honey. And then as the season goes on and these boxes fill up, We'll just keep adding more boxes until there's probably three or four boxes on each hive. As you can see, the bees are hard at work. Now this is an open frame of nectar that the bees are actually turning in to honey so that we can all eat. Did you want to put this on or nope, you want to do it? Nope, nope, you have to trust you. <laughs> okay. That is just a little too Come dense. on, Hannah, confidence. That's a dense population of bees right there. Yeah, these are my girls, these are the girls. I got a lesson in the hierarchy of bees as well all the way from the queen to the drones, otherwise known as the male. So a male bee cannot sting you? Correct. What? They have why, one purpose. Why are, oh. Okay, and they die in the process. I get it, really? Yes, it's so intense that they literally explode <laughs> on the mating flight. <laughs> Poor guys, the good part, they don't sting you. Unlike wasps and yellow jackets, the female honeybees die after they sting you. Phil showed us by stinging himself. Ouch! The way to get out a stinger, if you ever do get stung by a honeybee, is you just take your fingernail and you simply scrape it, and it'll come right out. I wasn't going to sting myself, but I'd hold on to one uh, for at least a few seconds. I trust you. I wouldn't. Okay, now just cup your hand like you're gonna like a butterfly. Yep. Just so he like can't this. so he can't escape. But now he'll buzz. No, he's gonna he's gonna get out. Oh, so I'm sorry, mom. I'm holding a bee. I was gaining confidence. Like Phil said, it's all about making the bee think you're confident, even if I wasn't. But before we left, we had to taste some honey. Yeah, you're putting this in my mouth? Yes, you're gonna eat this. Okay. Oh, come on, oh, get it in okay. there. <laughs> mm. How is it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. Just take it and okay. eat it. Try to get not get it in on you. This is for you. I'm going slow and steady. Slow and steady. How is it, Aaron? That's so good. Rob? Oh, right? delicious. Straight from the bee. There's nothing better than You can now say you have eaten honey from a bee. So after battling the bees and really learning about where our honey comes from, it was time to go. Hey, well, thank you. You bet. Thank My you so good much. Good job. I did, had so much fun. You did great. I am now, I'm, well, at least More honey comfort. bees I'm not afraid of. Wasps and uh, yellow jackets. Yellow and jackets. I'm not sure.